there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Sunday, which means it is time for another Noz Watches Steins. Yeah, right? Which means it's, which means we gotta deal with the fallout of the world. A world without, without Rukako's, Rukako's massive mam, no, she was flat. Oh, <laughs> uh, god, so the last episode we had kind of, we had some, like, a kind of cute interaction between, like, Rukako and Okarine. But mostly just Ocarine fucking it up, and oh boy, that's mmm, mmm, mmm. That last episode had some fucking implications that I don't, I don't like all that much. Oh boy, oh boy. But regardless, uh, let's see, uh, let's see how we undo the last, the last email, shall we? And just oh god, like this, this whole thing. Like honestly, he should, he should just go forward in time, and just just make a time machine, go back in time, and shoot Maweka in the head when she's born. That should that that should be the solution. But fuck it, let's see what happens, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Because I mean, hey, Mayuri might just be a time god. Maybe this, maybe maybe killing her stops. Maybe not killing her stops time from existing. Did he, did he ever think of that? Because, I mean, time god has to exist at some point. So then means it has to die to become time. Please just, like, have Ocarine walk up with a fucking gun. And just blast the front of her face off. From behind. Oh, jeez. I hate you so fucking much, Moeka. I knew you were sketch the whole goddamn time. I knew you were fucking sketchy. But Suzuha was also kind of sketchy, which made things difficult. Eat your food, then. And Daru is, of course, just playing a fucking H game in the back. Alright. Oh, man, he's just having a big old cup of depresso. Oh, shit. I can't, I'm being depressed because of time travel. Which is making Mayuri depressed. Mm. Seriously, she's too pure for this. She's too pure for this depression. I mean, maybe you fixed it. Maybe you fixed it. It's almost as if he should probably just record this on a fucking tape recorder and send it back in time. Jesus. That would be the most annoying thing about time travel. Like, like if I could time travel, I would just keep a fucking like tape recorder in my pocket and just be like, alright, just listen to this. Yeah, I'm fucking time traveling, you stupid idiot, and this is what happened. Alright, we got it? Alright. Well, well, how do you know which, which time machine is, which time jump is the one that caused it? You don't know. Jesus. Like, we're actually at some fucking Akemi Homura shit, aren't we? Unbreakable? She alive, damn it. It's a miracle. And you shoot her in the head. I bet you that fucking message she sent back was act was like coded, be like, Ocarine knows time travel. Put a gun in his waifu's head, in his waifu's mouth. After all, she is the default waifu. Like for real, like they've actually got chemistry because like like for real. 
Like, I mean, I know for a goddamn fact that the default waifu is going to be Mayuri, because, like, come on now. That's yeah, gonna be what happens. But I feel like in the, in the actual game, like, if I was playing it, I'd be like, Oh, yeah, no, like, Makise, yeah, she's the, she's the default wife. But I'm gonna go for Rukako, though. <laughs> I'm- I'm her ex-boyfriend. She threatened my life. It's a condemned building? No, it's a crime scene! Does she die in this timeline? Did the problem solve itself? The D-mail stopped her killing herself. She kills herself- oh sorry, the, the, the D-mail caused her to kill herself, which means she can't kill- She can't- The Time God! The Time God has been sated! You had to sacrifice- You had to sacrifice, like- Femininity and two other women. You had to sacrifice three girls. Now, d don't... Don't time leap. Don't stop her death. See if she dies first. Damn it! What killed her? What did she get? Did she get killed by a fucking? Oh fuck! We're back at the goddamn yogurt. I ate your yogurt. I ate it all. We need to put a gun in her mouth. How many people do you need to sacrifice? Like seriously, like like I mean at this point the time god is get is being a persnickety bitch. That that's there's three girls sacrificed on the altar to save to save one. Come on now. Sup, Steins Gates Steins Gates Akechi? You Pepsi stealing bitch. Oh Mark Zuckerberg isn't returning her DMs. Oh no. What's the matter? Didn't kill enough lollies? Wow, she's broken. I mean, zero pity, but fuck. Smack her shit. Fucking, this is where you put her in a sleeper hold, goddammit. Put her in a sleeper hole. Put her in your trunk. What? Oh! Yeah, fuck you! 
She's just female Akechi. She's just female Akechi. Oh my god. This is great. Oh man, that's fucking great. That that's fucking great, my dude. Like I still can't get over the fact that she looks so much like a catchy so fuck like especially they did the flashback where she was doing her best a catchy impression and just Oh, that's great. Timeline didn't change. Timeline didn't change. She lied. She lied about what she sent. She didn't. She's nah. All you did was tip off past Maki, past uh, Moeka about. Nah, because she knows. Because she knows. Yep! Yeah. No, she lied! No, she deleted it. She fucking deleted it. Does she have a bat? Does she have a fucking weapon? What is that noise? What is she hitting the door with? Oh, with the table, okay. Holy shit. Like, I thought she had, like, an axe or something. Smack her shit! Out the window with you, bitch! Ah, oh, no. God damn it. I was hoping to just out the window. Just fucking knock her shit out. Lewd. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, my God. That's the best. <laughs> oh my god, that's the best. Oh! Oh, she fucking bit him. God damn. Oh god. This is where you just fucking headbutt her until she stops moving, right? You have to not kill Mayuri. Stop, like, even now she's fucking lying. It's got. It's, I, it's obviously CERN. Come on. Who is FB? Mark Zuckerberg isn't as loyal as you think. 
Come on now. I come from a future where you hung yourself because they abandoned you. Like if that was me, I'd be like, I just came from a future where they faked your where they faked your suicide because you were useless to them. Like that would be like what I'd go for. It's almost as if young girls that feel cut off from society are easy targets for cults. Almost as if that's what cults have been doing since the fucking Bronze Age. And almost like no one fucking ever learns. All we need you to do is shoot people. Specifically people we don't like. Yeah, there you go. There you go, that's... You know what? Yeah, she can't debate that either. I'm from the future, you dildo. So what changes... in the other world lines to make her br bust in with a bunch of dudes with AKs? Jesus, my boy. Jesus Christ, Ocarine, my boy. I know she doesn't deserve pity. I know she deserves no pity. But fuck, you could have like you could have laid that on a little bit gentler. You're not going to get any information out of that now. Not until she stops fucking crying. You're best off just getting the fucking, you know, the old sleepy time rag. If you know what I'm saying. Just put her in the trunk of your car. Oh, he doesn't have a car, does he? Well, he's gonna be sitting there for a couple hours. To be fair, she's a very hateable person. Then again, I'm just basing out on the fact she kills she kills cinnamon buns. Jesus. No, not a f not a fool. No, she's a cunt. It's the difference. She sent the email telling herself where the fucking PC is. I mean, that would... Jesus. Grab the table and stove in her throat with it. I hate her so much. Did he actually kill her? Is she dead? Don't go to the shrine. It's an ambush. It's a it's a trap. Did did he kill her? If so, oh Kareen, my lads, Jesus. Fucking I No, but it's not going to work.
No, because you've already sent a fake one. You need FB's phone. You need to find out F who- Oh no, she's alive! She's alive! Damn it! I hoped her going there like... Was gonna be- was gonna be enough. Damn it! Oh god, what if F- God, what if FB is like future Ocarine? Oh god. Like, Ocarina in the Time Machine came back and he's a fucking monster or something. Like, that's not a proper prediction, that'd just be really dumb. But it'd be funny. Like, one of my- some of my fa- one of my favorite, uh, time travel tropes is when, like, a, uh... Like, the antagonist is just a future... It's a future version... Of the- of the protagonist. Yeah, we'll defeat Dio. We'll dist we'll defeat the world. That Dio will never achieve heaven. Or you can or my name isn't Jotaro Kujo. Coin locker. Interesting. Is that gonna be- Ah, it's the end! God damn it! Son of a bitch! Okay, who- That balded beard guy is either gonna be- Oh god, Oh god. Alright, so that- uh, That bearded bald guy, he doesn't seem to have an interesting enough character design to be FB. What if it's that kid, though? Oh no, what if it's that fucking kid? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh Jesus! Where's that damn fourth D mail, Emerald? Oh jeez. Okay, so oh this is getting fun. This is getting fun. Like Moeka finally came back, and I've got a headache by the way, and this is like ice cold, and it's it feels really nice. Um, but um, <laughs> fuck. Um, but Moeka coming back. I, I hope she would come back as a boss fight, and in a way she did, and it's really great. Cause fuck Moeka, cause she's bitch. Bitch. Holy Christ, but um... Just... I'm gonna catch flack for this, and I'm, I am I am 99.99999% sure that she has fans. The exact same goddamn way that Goro Akechi has fans, and just like Goro Akechi has fans that don't like me, Moeka's gonna have fans that don't like me because I think she's irredeemable and awful. Like, fuck's sake. Now, even if she winds up joining the fucking party, like, she's gonna be irredeemable because... <laughs> Because think about how many people she's fucking probably killed, right? Like, she's killed... <clears throat> pardon me. She killed Mayuri. Fucking, uh... She killed Mayuri. Like, she's... Ki she's no fucking doubt killed before. Like... Mm, pardon me. Like, like, with how easily she was able to make the decision to just pop Mayuri, I have... Zero fucking doubt that if the Japanese government went back and just looked through their cold cases, they would find a shit ton that are the that are that are perpetrated by Kiryu Moeka because god damn it, like like just mm. and also who owns a cat suit like that except for a smart mass killer? No one. That's who. Fucking. Like I'm glad she came back and I'm and I'm glad that the fact that she is that she is the villain is is enough to make it so that her D-mail is very, very, very difficult to undo because like if you if you know yeah that you can receive text messages from the future 
that means that at any point you could receive another text message. Like, like the only way to do it would be to receive a text message before, right? I think the only way that you could probably do this would be for if she received a text message before she actually received that first email. Yeah, and it said, and it said, if you receive any any strange text from yourself, do not reply. I have been captured or something like that, right? Like, that'd probably be the only thing where they'd need to word it really, 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 really well. Like, holy shit, would they need to, like... Like, un unless, like, it'd be like, unless you, re unless you receive a, a, a... Unless you receive a message that starts with the word pineapple, do not, do not register it. I am, I am being, I am being apprehended. This is my, this is the only message I can get back in time. Using a stolen time device, like you know, or something stupid like that, right? But even then, that would be like that'd be her being like, because mm. I feel like Moeka cares so little about her life that if she were, even if she received a message that she thought was going to be a trap, she would still go and spring the trap just in case you either it was not a trap or she could fight her way out of it, which is interesting, and, it, and because. Like, D-mail is a very interesting method of time travel because it requires that the people that are already in that time period do what you ask. And, like, people like Rukiko and Faerus, no, they're gonna do it. But, Mo but Moeka, no, she's a stone-cold bitch. You don't give a fuck. Like... You know, if I sent a D-mail back to my grandma saying, Hey, grandma, fucking don't... Don't fucking, uh, I don't know, don't walk the dogs on this day. Like, like a fucking, like something will happen, trust me. She'll be like, ah, fuck you! Fuck you, I walk the dogs the same way every day, fuck you! And then, you know, like, she just ignore it, you know? That, that's not, that, assuming, of course, she reads her goddamn messages. Because she's, like, almost 90 years old, so. What does this, what does this thing say? Oh, oh, do... Mm, uh, like, oh dang it! I dropped my, I dropped the lid to my thing. I don't know where the lid is. Well, crap. All right, I guess I'm just gonna make sure I don't swing my arms. Um, but but it's still a very very interesting thing. And Moeka just kind of being broken without this, without her handlers, like without her handlers guiding her hips. That's also fairly interesting. And and I get the idea is to make it like, oh, she's a victim. She's just as big a victim as anyone, bruh! And it's this exact same fucking shit they do with a certain other brown-haired person that I don't like. That if you watch the streams, you know exactly who I'm fucking talking about, but it doesn't work. It never works, because... Even if they are being told to do this thing by a handler they have devoted their life to, they devoted their life to a fucking monster. It's like... Fucking like I'm trying to think of like someone in history, but history is never that black and white. And it, but it's like, all right, fo so, fuck it. Let's take something out of the fucking out of the fucking far left. Fuck it, right? So, if someone was a Nazi, right? They joined the Nazi. I know I'm inv I'm invoking Godwin here, right? I know I'm invoking Godwin, but it's the easiest parallel. So if someone was a Nazi, right, and they followed Adolf Hitler, they read Mein Kampf and all that. And they were, like, a young, impressionable person. Alright? They joined the Hitler Youth, they did all that shit, you know, they, they bought the fucking... They, they joined the fan club, they bought the shirt, right? And then they graduate the Hitler Youth... Like, of course, assuming... Like, and by, by, by the way, in order to graduate the Hitler Youth and join the, and join the, the Nazi army before... Um, bef before the end of the war... They would have to have joined the Hitler Youth while it was a voluntary movement because it didn't become mandatory until 19, uh, 1939, I think. I think before that it was it was voluntary. Um, well, voluntary. You were you were encouraged to join it, but you know what I mean. So say like they they graduate the Hitler Youth, they join the they join the army, and they they like they buy the shirt, they they join the fan club, they read the book, everything. They're like yeah. Yay, go Hitler! You know, and it's and it's like they go through, they commit atrocities, they join the they they join the SS, fucking and like they're a fucking horrific monster. But being a horrific fucking monster 
is entirely because of, like, where they were raised, where they were picked up, or whatever, or, or like, influences on them as a kid, right? Like, hence, you know, Kit their Jungian, you know? Um, would you then say that that SS officer standing at the Nuremberg trials in The Hague is innocent just because of, like, the influences on his life? Would you say that that SS officer that is personally probably killed, like, upwards of a thousand fucking people over the course of the war, is an innocent person? The same way that people say that people like Moeka in media are innocent. No, you fucking would not. He would either be forced to flee to Brazil, or Argentina, or he would be fucking executed on the spot. You know what I mean? Like, like when you apply, like... like I don't get why there's characters in media where... I am getting to a point, don't worry. I don't get why there's characters in media where if they existed in real life... <laughs> pardon me. If they existed in real life and, and like, you, they killed, like, upwards of fucking... Let's say, tw let's say, let's say 15 people, right? Just a nice, a nice round number there. Let's say Moek has killed upwards of 15 people, right? She's arrested... She's put on trial, but this FB person is captured next, right? And that FB person is brought to light, they're put on trial as well, and Moeka is sat fucking next to them. And they're like, alright, Kiryu Moeka killed 15 people, but she did it on orders of this FB person who has essentially controlled her life for the last, let's say, decade and a half, right? Fifteen, fifteen. Ah, um, would that mean that Moeka is not culpable for those fifteen murders? No, it would not. Under any law in any land, she may get a reduced sentence if she rats out FB. That is one thing. If she rats out FB, then she could get a reduced sentence in the states. Like, of course, if that was offered to her. But she wouldn't. But she wouldn't. So she would still get the fucking electric chair. And everyone would still think she's a fucking monster. All it does really is to go on to make FB look like an even bigger fucking monster. But, you know, so it's like, these characters... Like, it, it's, it's one of my biggest complaints about this trope, right? And, and, I, and I realize I've, I've, I've talked for like fucking almost ten minutes now about a trope, essentially, but... It keeps popping up in media I watch... And it's in recent media, too. Not just this, which came out fucking, like, six years ago. But, like, like even stuff that came out, like, as recently as a year and a half ago. Like, you keep getting this trope. And people keep acting as if these characters are redeemable when they're not. And it's... I hate it as a fucking trope. Because, like, even the story seems to try and make it redeem them. Now... Do I hope, like, and now, do, like, I, for the fucking life of me, I hope that nobody ever in this fucking story, nobody ever, 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 ever forgives Moeka. Ever. Because she spent, like, what was it, like, months now? Or, like, accumulative months, depending on the time skips, even? Like... Like, trying to blend in with the lab, acting friendly, and then she turns around and goes... Pff, pff. Like, all on FB's orders. Like, if anything, that's, like, even worse than just if she'd walked in day one and blasted Mayuri's head off. You know? It's like... Like, it, like and it's like, then the, and the story, in this episode, very much, like, through, like, camera angles and ambient music and sound effects very much tries to make the viewer feel that feel bad for her right in the exact same way a certain character in a certain game i've streamed like in the last couple months they do the exact same fucking thing only difference is that character fucking dies and you and you just and like the the redeeming the the redeeming act is over and done with and you can fucking forget about it Moeka, I get a feeling she's gonna survive quite a bit longer because that was her redeeming moment, and she's alive at the end of it. And also, Okarine's not a killer, unlike certain other characters. 
But like, you see what I mean? This like th- th- this keeps happening. But other than that, other than that, Moeka is my one issue. Moeka is my one issue with this, and the way she's handled, and the way that the camera seems to treat her like a victim. She's not. She's a fucking monster. Um, everything else, though, from Okarine's actions, how kind of unstable he is, um, like, fucking, like, busting down her door, fucking, like, doing shit that we would never have expected him to do at the start of the series, like, fucking forcing himself onto her to fucking get her phone away, shut her the fuck up, like, you know, like, and even, like, that, that moment of depression he has where he realizes that every time he fucks up, he has to do the same motions. Or, or every time he even fixes something, he has to go through the same motion. He has to sit there. He has to explain it to Karisu. He has to wait and get the exact time that Mayuri dies. The exact fucking time. And thankfully, this one time, he, he didn't have to be present. But at the same time, he had to push that responsibility onto Karisu. And and her crying over the phone, that's probably gonna fucking stick with him. And then he has to go back. He has to explain it to her again with her cries fresh in his fucking mind. And then try again. And if he fucks up, he's gonna do it again. Like, this is... Like, what we're going through right now is is... Like, is what Akemi Homura went through before Madoka Magica even fucking, ex- even fucking started. Like, could you, like, already Madoka Magica is fucking depressing. Now imagine how depressing it would be if you had, like, 20 episodes that were just this. Like, before the fucking main story even started. Like, holy Christ. Jesus fucking Christ, like, I half expect at some point Okabe is just gonna fucking just shrug off his lab coat or something. Like how, um, Akemi stopped doing her hair, right? Because, like, you know, Akemi, like, she at the start she had, like, those twin tails, and then, like, she keeps going back and back and back, and eventually she stops caring about herself. She fucking stops wearing her glasses, because technically she doesn't need them, but, like, they remind her when of, like, when she was human. She stops doing her hair, her hair is, like, kind of a mess, like, and she's just like, no. Save Maduka! Protect Maduka! Maduka! And that just becomes her entire, like, reason for being. And Okarine, it seems to be very much the same way. I, I highly expect, like, as time goes on, we're gonna start seeing him get more and more ragged. Like, the, like, the state he is in when he hits that new timeline, he's, like, if he wakes up in the morning in that timeline... He's gonna hit the ground fucking running, and he's not gonna bother with, like, anything that is not necessary, right? Like, pants, shirt, lab coat. Maybe that's it. Like, brushing his hair? No. No, ne- no happening, fam. No time. And I and I do really like that. It's really cool. Because, uh, like, we're seeing it in his in his personality. It, you, it, it's definitely wearing on him, and it is very um, interesting to see this development of him, and, like seeing everyone else kind of bounce around to the different, uh, the different, st- I guess, states they were in, but Ocarine's change is so drastic, because, like, the further you go back, th- like, if you remember, the further you go back, the more happy-go-lucky the series is, but he's gone so far forward into the darkest timeline that now, like, that's weighing on him, and he's seeing the darkest timeline happen again and again and again, so every time he does it, he goes back further, into, like, when it, into the light, even. And his presence just feels so much darker in, in, in relation to what's happened. Like, right fucking now, like, he's sitting there, goddamn, like, fucking depressed out of his mind, and Mayuri's like, hey, maybe we should go to convention. Uh, you know, like, you know, like, uh, look at me, it's Mayushi, ha look at me. I'm Mr. May- I'm Mr. Mayushi, look at me. Uh, and just... And then, like, the very next one... No, they're not darker, and it's Karisu and her fucking pudding cup again. Like, you know, it's like, it, it's, it's a very, it's a very cool thing, and it very much feels like, it, like the perfect setup kind of thing that you really wouldn't see coming, because it's like, here's our happy-go-lucky anime moment. We're gonna throw it back in your fucking face with the weight of a goddamn bowling ball later. Ya dingus. Like, you know, it's, mwah. It's great, and I love it, and I can see why so many people love this fucking anime. Like, mm, I like it so much, but... God damn it, you can tell it's a fucking Japanese-made video game in it, where, like, the fucking... Like, you got this fucking antagonist is like, a precious baby boy who fucking... 
is a goddamn monster, but they don't want us to think they're a monster because reasons. Uh. Mm. Anyway, everybody, let me know what you think down there in the comments, whether you agree or you disagree. Do you think... Moeka should be forgiven, because if you do, I think you're wrong, but hey, defend her. Maybe you'll change my mind. I don't know, because I don't like this trope. I don't like this trope in general. It's one of my least favorite tropes in anime, uh, uh, specifically video games, because it happens more in Japanese video games than anything else. But, yeah, let me know what you think. Whether you agree, you disagree, you think I'm an idiot, you think I'm a dingus, you think I'm sweating too much because it's like 97 goddamn degrees right now, my AC doesn't work. I don't know, let me know. <laughs> Hey everybody, as always, I am Nozovix. Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, all that good shit. And if you really love my content and you want to help guide my hips towards the future, you can always su support me on Patreon, which gets you access to the special uh, Disco um, bleh, the special patrons-only Discord channel on the Discord server, where you can recommend anime to be reacted to, or games to be let's played, or streamed, or reviewed, or whatever. And also you get access to our special, uh, special monthly, like, patrons movie night thingy, where we basically, we pick a show, and we just load it up, and we fucking go for, I'm gonna say, like, two, three hours. Because that's gonna be fun. We're gonna have the first one this month, and if it all goes well, we'll have it, we'll have one every month, and we'll just fucking blitz on through, and it'll be fun as hell. And everybody, as always, see you! in the next video, but most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a round up.